just days away, the Georgia GOP convention on June 9th. At Letter News First, Abby Casoras joins us live here now in studio. And Abby, former President Donald Trump is set to make his first campaign stop at this event. Yes, that's right. And this will be the first time that a former president or a former presidential candidate is coming to speak at the Georgia GOP convention. Speaking with experts today, they say the Republicans used to think that they had it in the bag, but now they need to work hard to win the votes. I'm excited for the fact that the Republican Party convention is going to be in Columbus, Georgia. Out in Russell, Columbus Republican Party chairman says their hotels are filling up with thousands of delegates, media, and curious spectators coming to see some of the convention's headliners. A wonderful friend of mine and a great man, a great senator. Including former President Donald Trump and former Arizona gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake. Russell expects they could raise millions of dollars to help with voter turnout next election. The money is always is important because we we try to put boots on the ground with having a staff in every county or other speakers include former Senator Kelly Leffler, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones. There are two missing guests that have said they won't be attending Governor Brian Kemp and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. His reasons are I think they're his reasons not mine. Um, and I don't I really don't um, he, I, I don't have a specific answer from him as to why he is or why he's not coming. At last year's Georgia GOP convention, people booed Governor Kemp while he was on stage. Political expert Charles Bullock says Georgia is at the center of the political universe. We may play that same kind of role in 2024 when it comes to choosing the next president. He says Trump's visit to Georgia shows he's hoping to get Georgia voters on his side after a big loss in 2020. In reality, Georgia is an anti-Trump state. Uh, Trump does less well here than probably most any other state that Republicans have a shot at winning. Now, this event is not open to the general public. You have to be a delegate or invited as a guest in order to attend the convention. And as for the Democrats, they are hosting a state convention this year as well. Those dates have not been announced. All right, Abby, thank you.